all of you. Today you crossed the finish line, receiving a degree from, and I'm not gonna be modest here, one of the best universities in the world. And I'm excited to report that the senior class has raised $4,455 for Stony Brook Children's Hospital. Will Eric H. Holder Jr. please come forward. I call upon all who are here today to rededicate yourselves for the fight for fairness and justice that should always be at the center of the American experience. Wherever you go, after being superbly trained at this great institution, you have the obligation and the power to ensure that we and our nation keep faith with our revolutionary beginnings and our moral responsibility. Will Soledad O'Brien please come forward? Decide what you want to be, and I am not talking about your job. I'm talking about the kind of person you want to be. It's up to you and no one else. Use your power as a millennial to lean in and make change where you are. Your student speaker, Daniel Myers. So I challenge my fellow Seawolves to reflect on your freshman state of mind and how you changed since then. Remember that change is constant when you're in a state of progression because in college and life, your experience is the only professor that gives you the test before the lesson. Thank you. I really enjoyed the student speaker, Danielle. Um, you know, she was amazing. It really touched me and I know it touched all my friends around me. So to hear Eric Holder and Soledad O'Brien was so inspiring and it's incredible to see them be granted honorary degrees from Stony Brook University. It's, it's amazing. You may turn your tassels, toss your caps, congratulations.